Yes, this is it. Last part. Part three. Coming now. Rendering, shadows, a handsome guy drawing, everything you need. Go, go watch it, go, go. All right, so now we are in Photoshop. And first thing that I'm going to do is rename my layer to lines layer. And I'm going to rename this layer to border. I don't need the border right now. I'm going to go to the lines. And what I usually do is I'm going to change the background a little bit. So I see what's happening there. I just fill the whole page with all backspace, which is the foreground color and control backspace fills it with a background color. I'll make a new layer and I'm going to call it base color. I'm going to take my lasso tool and make selections with it so I know where to fill. If you notice, I have not the polygonal but the normal lasso tool selected yet it works like the polygonal lasso tool. And that is because I have Alt pressed. As soon as I press Alt and start clicking and taking the pen off, you can use it as both. This way you can draw in some areas and just click other areas. And usually I do this to line art that is not fully connected. If line art is li nicely closed, then I use my fill with white action, which is up here and I press it and it creates a new layer that fills the interior of what I have drawn with white. Only problem is sometimes I have to clean it up a little bit. So what I do is select uh, on the outside, control shift I to reverse the selection. Then I go to select modify, expand uh, by one and then I delete a couple of times to make sure that the white is within the line and then I'm going to clean up little edges like this and here as well. Uh, let me speed this part up. All right, so I cleaned the drawing up quite a bit and now I'm going to fill this last part. If you are interested in that action, I have a previous video detailing how you can make your own. I will be looking for some reference regarding color material and shading. I make a copy just to have a separate layer that I can return to if I mess up something. Then I fill it with the color that I picked from the reference image. Uh, for the shading, just like uh, with the color, I pick it from the reference image. When you are in a hurry and have to present something quickly, there is no shame in using small cheating techniques like this. A good tip for selection is taking anti-aliasing off your lasso tool and then creating selections with different shades of grey on your original base color layer. Uh, this way you can always use your magic wand and select these areas and then color them on the other layers just as I'm going to do here. What I did not mention yet is that I'm using a layer as a clipping mask to apply all my shading. This way keeping my process non-destructive. Just like you could see on the reference image where the two lunch boxes are closer together, we have more shadow. Uh, the part where my box is supposed to be touching the ground can be a bit darker because less light will be able to bounce there. That also applies for corners. So I will do the same for the corners of my sandwich box. Don't feel forced to stick, what you, to, stick to what you see on the reference image. Here I felt like there was not enough contrast, so I made the shadow part even a bit darker. I remember not liking this button when I was finishing the drawing, so I'm going to take them away and try something new instead of them. I wanted to make a thumbprint area that would invite people to push against it with their thumbs. Not sure if it came out that well in the end result though. As you can see, I invert the color because usually reverse colors of complement or uh, complementary colors go well together. You can do that by hitting Ctrl I. I always adjust my colors a little bit until I feel them working well. And feel free to add some uh, colors on the scale that I na are neighbors. So maybe a green to a blue or a blue to a green or a red to an orange or, or a yellow to an orange.
To make the image more visually appealing, I'm changing the color of the interior to a more metallic grayish blue tint. In the beginning I was thinking of maybe having a separate interior aside from the rubbery plastic exterior, but that would have defeated my opening mechanism. So this is just a cut of the interior with a different color to give an impression of how these uh, dividing plates could offer different arrangement solutions for the interior of my sandwich box. Another thing I like to do is locking the pixels of the lines layer and bringing the color of the lines closer to the color that I chose for the shading. This softens up the edges a bit and makes the drawing look less cartoony, which in my case is needed because I tend to end up with quite cartoony sketches due to my bold black outlines. You can also give it a gradient so the lower part of the line stays closer to the darks, meanwhile the upper part of the lines you can uh, lighten up a bit. I decided to leave the original button ideas on the orange containers just to show the contrast of different uh, solution ideas. Towards the end I always add a highlight layer where I try to make the image pop more, either by adding the aforementioned highlights, but also just painting over the dark lines and working them into the image a bit more. Just to keep everything organized, I delete all the layers that are unnecessary since I saved this image as a new version so I can still get those layers from the previous versions if needed. Lastly I do the shadows. In this case I will be cheating again since I won't do the shadows for the higher floating container, only the one that is touching the ground. After I selected and filled the area I want to put into shadows with black, I go to filter, blur. Gaussian blur and then I turn down the opacity of the layer until I find a value that I really like. After I'm done with the shadows I always try to take another look and see if the drawing needs more detail or contrast to pop a bit more. In this case I felt like I needed some more contrast. And with that I am calling it an end to this three-parter. Hope you learned something new from it. If you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. For more regular updates follow me on Instagram and as always wish you a great day and see you folks next time. Bye bye! <music>